are y'all today? I kind of dressed up today. I used one of my thrift store dresses. Let's talk about it. I don't know about you all, but this time of year, uh, so many emotions go through us when we're uh, getting ready to celebrate a holiday. And we reminisce a lot. Uh, yeah, we reminisce a lot. We miss a lot of people. We do. And uh, we always carry them right here, but to have them in the presence of us, we don't have that anymore. And uh, I know each and every one of y'all out there, I hope my hair looks all right today. I'm still blaming the Dollar Tree. My hair's so soft, I can't get it to do anything. Anyway. Uh, I just want y'all to know that we're here with you, and, uh, we do read all your comments, and I've not shown a lot for the holidays, actually. Uh, the buying part when I was younger, the shopping part when I was younger, yeah, I did all of it, and it's not that I don't do any now, I don't do it on the scale I once did for two reasons. One is fixed income. You know, you have to watch when you're on fixed income. But the second reason is everybody has so much, and I think that something more personal or time spent, like I said, it doesn't have to be a holiday. It can be any day of the year. means more than one time a year and never the rest of the year. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can tell I've been going down memory lane. <laughs> I fit on this dress because I was thinking of Olivia Walton. Uh, church. I, I could picture her doing this for church. Class, I'm doing this just for you. <laughs> Not telling how my hair looks. I can't hardly see nothing this morning. But I, I could picture Olivia Walton going to church like this. Let me see. Can I do it? I'm just being silly, which is what you all uh, usually miss. You miss mine and only's night talks or mine and some others that you know night talks and some of the laughter we go through. And it helps when you reach out. Two together can make a difference. It can. But I'm here for a Dollar Tree haul. I showed this. When I was introducing Omi's video last night, so far, these sheets, I still have two and a half, so that means I've done two full loads and one half load. Lawyer, lawyer, <laughs> might need a lawyer if I break out, laundry detergent sheets, and they're good for all machines. So far, no issue. They have a really good scent. They're not scent scentless. They, I don't know what you, it's called fresh linen. It just smells fresh. And uh, I have to keep you updated on this if we wind up breaking out. But I don't think we will. I think I'm, I was going to say I won't be going to the Dollar Tree anymore this year. But you know what? I would go just for this one item. I really would. It's five sheets. Ten small loads or five large loads by Eco Select, and I still haven't looked up how much regular price. But these are so easy to use. I don't think I opened it on my video before, but this is what they look like for a large load. Then you split it for a small load, and it does. If you're not opposed to scents at all, this is a fairly decent scent. Some scents I can't take at all. Floral scents give me migraines. and New to me because I haven't been making as many trips to the Dollar Tree. And I know this winter between spaghetti and soups and stuff. Because a lot of this stuff you can even use in uh, soups. This was new. Susquehanna Valley Harvest Marin Marinara Sauce. And it's good to September 25. So even though I had a lot of pasta in my pantry, 
I thought as far out as this is, that would be uh, something to rotate with, if that makes sense. So I got one marinara. And sometimes I'm tempted, maybe y'all can tell me, you, have you tried these before? Because sometimes I'm tempted to use them. Then I don't use up what's in my stock up. But like I said, these have a long shelf life. 919 or 25, that's almost two years. Sequahana, Valley Harvest, Era. Y'all have to say it. I can't even say it. Yeah, I'm from the South. I, Omi's German and learned English, and I can't even talk English. I got one of those. And they are uh, 24 ounces. Tomatoes, onions, olive oil, garlic, salt, spices, and basil. River Run Foods in uh, Pennsylvania. I'd, I'm thinking it's made in the USA unless there's something I'm not seeing. And I've never seen these before. But like I said, I've probably not been a very good... <laughs> Dollar Tree shopper because I've really not needed a lot. I actually went in for this item. Pacara mouthwash and gargle refreshing mint 24 ounces because it's cheaper for me to buy it at the Dollar Tree than it is Walmart. Two of these is two fifty, and I think it winded up being more out. I forget how it worked. And they're easier to handle sometimes than the larger bottles. So I stocked up on three of these while they had them. I have not. We've been, we've pretty much depleted all our ready snacks. You know, the kind that you just grab and eat. So you'll be seeing a few, just a few of those because Eli's out of school for over two more weeks as of today. Today's the 21st. Can you believe it's just, yeah, three days till Christmas Eve. Today's Wednesday, so I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I got three days to get ready. I'm sitting here. Y'all don't see it, but a lot of this you've already seen. I'm sitting here. I've got to get it organized. I did buy, and I'm glad I did because I was going through my pantry this morning and picking out certain things that I might need to make for Christmas because I've been given a request. I don't know which route to go yet. I never know which route to go. And I'm glad I did because I didn't think I had any of the traditional vanilla Pillsbury. And it was $1.25. I know it, uh, when I went to, was it Kroger's a month or two ago, I got cakes five for five, but I wasn't at Kroger's. And they may not have been on sale. So $1.25. It's funny, Michelle and I were talking about this today. What's the difference between a yellow cake mix and uh, what she call it, a golden, golden something? Now I gotta find out. I said, honey, I don't know. But I did get a traditional yellow cake in case I needed it. And we'll eat it even if I don't use it for Christmas. And I bought two of these, so I must have really been thinking of something to do with those. I don't remember stuff. I really don't. I've been going around the house Every time I think of something I may need for something else and sitting it on my kitchen island, then I can't do anything on my kitchen island because I got all my memories sitting up there. <laughs> do y'all do that? Yeah, I'll be talking more about how I do during the day because many of y'all might can relate. I'm not polished. I try to be for my house, but in my everyday life, I'm scattered. What else do I want to show next? It's a nail polish remover pen by Be Pure. I still got to do my nails for Christmas. They still haven't fallen off, so I've already pulled out, yeah, the acetone, and I got the fingers and cotton balls, so I may try to do that tonight. But anyway, nail polish remover pen. I know you can do it with regular polish and a Q-tip, which is what I normally do, but... It's kind of nice to have one of these. 
So I, I just got one, and these would also be great for gift baskets if you're doing like a self-care gift baskets with makeup and polishes and, you know, all the nail stuff. You can blame Jan and Omi for this because they both love these. I love these. I found them. I bought four bags. Of the Red Bird handcrafted uh, peppermint candy puffs. Jan tells you in her videos. Only will tell you these are the best melt in your mouth, like butter mint uh, mints that we find. And their name brand Red Bird. And there are five ounces in it, made in the USA. So I bought four bags of those. Tell you I bought a few snacks. So I thought I'd show you those real quick. Might have something in the other one. I have never seen these before. These are new to me, too. Have y'all seen them? I bought two of them. Hot Pepper Soft by Wildfare. Hot peppers, vinegar, salt. That's all it is. Wildfare. And how would you use it? I need some ideas from all of you all. We cook so plain and simple and I've been getting in and doing a few other little things here and there, so I like to try that out. And I did buy two jars of it. And they it was 10.05 ounces. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. I meant to look on my receipt because I think most of the canned goods have dropped back down to a dollar. So, I know I got two different ones. I bought some seasoned collard greens. I love any kind of green. Collards, turnips, spinach. So, I thought I'd put one of those in the pantry. And I think, yeah, that is Margaret Holmes. I was going to say, Margaret Holmes is one of the best. Her seasoning is so good. I might have already put it. I bought, uh, I think I already put it up thinking I had set it out. Uh, a can of uh, butter beans. I love butter beans, and even my husband's been enjoying them. I need to make a big pot of them. While Eli's out, I've got bagels in the freezer, but he really likes just the plain bagel with the cream cheese. I bought one of the Ellie's. I've not bought them in a long time. Last time I think I bought bagels at Dollar Tree was at the one that has all the expensive breads, and I still have some in the freezer. So, I'm wondering if I might can make, like, French toast casserole or something with them. I think they'd eat them that way. But anyway, I got one of those. You see why I'm not stocking up on a lot of stuff. I'll be taking these to my husband because he loves these pecan twirls. Omi loves these pecan twirls. And she's not here, so, uh, Miserous Freshly's is going to Kenny and Eli. Bought two cans at the Super Stack. Something just fell, but we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, Super Stacks. Chili and lime flavored potato chips. Crisp. Chili and lime. And I hope that has a really good, intense flavor because I have a hard time tasting a lot of things. I'm not sure if Eli's going to like them. 5.5 ounces, and I know he's going to like these sour cream and onion. I just bought one of them. He's wanting to know where snacks are. I said we have to make them. I ran out of, uh, it's like I ran out of uh, french fries, and I didn't get any at the Dollar Tree. I forgot. No, I didn't forget. I've got onion rings instead, and I didn't show you. I got Nathan onion rings in the $5 section. That's what it was. I forgot to show you. And I thought I had French fries, and I didn't, but I had uh, sweet potato fries, or like, almost like potato boats that I had bought at Yugo with Michelle months ago. And he's enjoying those. So see, keeping some of the snacks out of my house is making them enjoy some of the other things they wouldn't even try and that's what we've been doing. And we'll talk more about that later. That's it for the Dollar Tree. It's it for this. One of these. 
and a cake mix, but might be one of my desserts. And the only flavor I found that I liked was the orange. And there was four in a case for a dollar and a quarter. You couldn't beat it. I didn't want to pay a dollar and a quarter for one out of the machine. So, uh, you can imagine where the other three went to. I said, I better have one. <laughs> so, that has to go with my stuff of what I might do. Do y'all do that? You don't know from one day to the next. Then you change your mind. And I'm at the point with my memory, especially with wintertime coming up, it's worse in the wintertime. I start setting stuff out. And like I said, if I set out a quantity of stuff, I can pretty much trigger my memory. But if it's just one item, I'll think, why did I set that there? Then I move it like with the butter beans. I know I bought them because I wanted some. And I've got some, uh, let me see, jalapeno and cheese. Uh, sausages, good and spicy, and some butter beans, and maybe, I don't know what with it, using what I have out of my refrigerator, trying to empty all that out, because after the first of the year, I will probably do a stock up. I have to go one time, I'm talking a lot, aren't I? I have to go one more time, at least to the store, just for a very few items, and I'll share that with you. Eli's supposed to go with me, and I think we're doing that tomorrow. Today, I'm staying in because I've got a lot going on. Got a phone call to make, and uh, I may come back and introduce tomorrow night's video because you're going to see a little bit more of Omi in tomorrow night's video. <laughs> Thank you for tolerating me, putting up with me, coming back. Uh, please leave a comment. I do... Uh, Read all the comments. I'm going to try to come up with a solution. Jan, Omi, Tammy, Heather. All of them know that I have a hard time with the keys on the uh, phone. And uh, I'm going to try to get back to the computer, which will be a little bit better. But I think we're going to do a cute, you know, a session maybe two or three times a month. Maybe a live, and we'll address some of those comments. And if not live, maybe a premiere where Omi can help me with them. We're trying to come up with something a little different. And to let y'all know, we do appreciate each and every one of you. So I better get off of here, see what my boys are into. They're awfully quiet. Sometimes that can mean trouble. So until next time, we'll talk soon. And I won't be putting that hat on more than likely. I'm going to look more like a... Uh, Grandpa Walton with overalls <laughs> to boggy. So, this is it for, for now. I think I have to change. Thank you so much, and until next time, we'll talk soon.